Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back, my honey buns. Today is a good day, a great day, a fabulous day. But what's more important, today is your day. Today's video coincides with a prior video that I posted, front door, back door, protection working. Today, I'm going to show you something that you can do to protect the outside of your home or business the outside now quite often people come in and they'll say mama my neighbors my neighbors are giving me a fit they're doing all kind of stuff to me and i just i never bothered them but for some reason my house is a target for um, havoc or they're just picking on us for no reason at all. And this is one of the things that I always suggest. Now, if you live in on a property that is large, you're going to need a lot of this ingredients, but it's not expensive. If you live like in a row home or apartment, you won't need as much. So I'm going to be doing a little batch because this batch right here is actually for one of my clients. So while um, I had to make it anyway, so I said, well, just let me show you again one of my secrets. All right. So you're going to need four ingredients. Four, you're going to need salt. Now, I'm using the ice cream salt because I like the, uh, the coarseness of it. You're going to need some sulfur. You're going to need some kind of pepper. Cayenne or crushed peppers. Also, you're going to need some asafetica, or what some people call it, devil's dung that's the ingredients now there's two different ways that i can suggest that you use this number one if you have a porch i'm going to show you how you can use it first let's mix the ingredients now you can use regular table salt for this But the reason why, um, once again, I like the texture of the big salt. So this client have a single home. But we're going to concentrate on the porch. Because the problem would be when they sit out on the porch in the evenings, the neighbors are giving them a fit. So we have the salt. We're gonna, I'm using crushed peppers. Once again, I like, I like the crushed peppers because you can see them. So if my clients are, and her family is outside, I told them, wait until they come outside and I'm gonna give you directions of what to do. Next is sulfur. And asafetica or devil's dung. And this have a very strong smell. So, you just merely mix it all together. Now, once it's mixed, if you want to cleanse your porch, you would take some and you would sprinkle it, especially around your door. 
Then once you sprinkle this, you're going to wait for a few minutes and you're going to sweep it off your porch. Just sweep it. So you're going to take this mixture. You're going to go around. You can even use, you can use a little cup, maybe like a disposable cup and scoop it and sprinkle it all around. If you have a, if you have a mat on the outside of your home, you can also, once you sweep it all, put you some under your doormat. Let it absorb all that negative craziness. All right. Now, that's one way you can use this. You can also make you a whole bucket. This box of salt was like a dollar and 50 cents. You can get regular table salt to do this too. Make you a large amount. Just use the peppers and the uh, sulfur and the asafetica. Mix it all together. So if you live in a single home, I want you to go around your fence if you have a fence. Or go around your properties. Make sure you go around your steps. Go all around. And we're going to leave it there. Now, here's secret number two. If you are going to, to be putting this out, wait. The day is going to rain. All right? Do this right before it rains. Now, why, Mama? Because I want these things to go down in your ground. They're, they're not gonna hurt, they're not gonna hurt anything. People put sulfur down to keep snakes away. And that's what we want to do. We want to keep the human snakes away. Mama, you something else. Look, I already know that I am. All right. <laughs> All right. So if you know the forecast says it's gonna rain. 80%, 90% chance, get out there before it starts. Get you a cup or get you a bowl, and I want you to go all around your property. Go all around the steps. You could even, on that day, sprinkle it on your porch, and instead of sweeping it, let the rain wash it away and wash that craziness right away from your home and your property so very very simple way of stopping neighbors that's getting on your nerves or people that's doing some things that they really shouldn't do let me tell you at least once a day somebody will call me or tell me that they found some stuff on their properties. If you find anything on your property and you know that it should not be there, I mean, you absolutely know, hey, the children couldn't have put it there, the dog couldn't have dragged it up there, the chicken couldn't have scratched it up. If you know that this is odd, make this mixture. Before you touch it, Put gloves on. Sprinkle this mixture on whatever it is that you're, you, you know it shouldn't be there. And for some, you may not understand what I'm saying, but for some, you know what I'm talking about. Sprinkle this mixture on whatever it is. Let's just say, because I want to make it simple to help everybody. Let's just say you find lingerie, and this is not a this is not a made up story, because you know Mama loves her stories, but this is the truth. You find lingerie in your backyard, just laying on top of your grass. Now, you're a plus size woman, like I am, but you find a lingerie set that will fit a petite, pretty little thing. And it's just you 
and your partner in that home. Why? Hmm. This is not supposed to be here because I know that the lawn men did not leave it. Baby, listen to mama. Don't put your hands on it. You be protected and you sprinkle it with this concoction. Put gloves on. And I'm going to tell you what you would do after that. You would let it set. You would pick it up. You would tie it up and put it in a bag. You would throw it away, not on your property. Or you could take it to a crossroads where there is a trash can. Do not throw it in the street where there is a trash can and get rid of it there. All right? So, listen, I hope I helped somebody today. I'm going to finish this up. I just did a little batch, but I have to do a five-gallon bucket. I concentrated on the porch first because I wanted you to see my secret. But I'm still going to give her enough to go around just because we want to cut out the foolishness. All right? So, it's been a good day. It's been a great day. It's been a fabulous day. Don't forget. Oh, yeah. Let me thank all my subscribers. Whether you've been with me from day one, week one, month one, or you just subscribed this morning, I want to thank you so much. I tell you, I am so blessed, and I know that some things I need to work on as far as making these videos, but what you get, what you see, is what you get. This is mama. So, I just appreciate all of you. So, subscribe, thumbs up, give me some comments, ring the notification bell. And share my videos. Y'all, I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers. And we are going to do it. It's just been a great day. And I look forward to spiritually seeing you. Listen, take advantage of this. If you need me, you can call me. People are already calling me from everywhere you can call me and guess what most of the time i'll answer 410-391-5765 give me a call even if it's just to say hi mama and you enjoy the rest of your day kisses